Okay, where do I begin? This video is being made during a live show in a follow-up to what happened yesterday. As you know, yesterday I declared war on uh, large YouTubers who use their influence online to spread false information, make it sound really technical and clever. And in fact, it's very stupid and it's designed to manipulate everyone. And I've got proof of it right now. As you can see, my portfolio is up again. Two days in a row. Doom and gloom. Apparently the world's coming to an end. Meet Kevin, Graham Stepan, World War Three. Everyone should sell all their stocks because everything's going down. Well, two days in a row, I'm beating the market by nearly two and a half times. So that's a lot of rubbish. But look at this. Last night, uh, it got worse and I got involved. I said I would go to war, but you know what? I can't do it. I can't do it. It's wearing me out. It's not why I started this. I'm not trying to go into uh, to war and to battle with idiots who got famous on YouTube, who weren't famous before, who just made fame and glory out of talking rubbish and now have swallowed it so much they don't even know what they're doing anymore. Last night, this followed what we already talked about, the nonsense. More nonsense. Total U-turn. Apparently, a bank of J Japan have uh, uh, backed up the yen. That's true. But literally, moments before this came out, literally, 60% crash coming and then total U-turn a few moments later. Try to make it look all innocent by bringing his children on. This is very, I mean, this is so awful now. This is getting so ridiculous. One minute, we're totally swearing on the screen and we're, we're about to go down 60%. Then we're all making, bringing our children on, playing with guns and having a laugh because we're all going to get rich again. But don't worry, it's all about to go down again. <sighs> it's all a load of rubbish. It's all a load of rubbish. So what did I do? I decided, like I said, to go to war. So I did. Up late last night, this video was was going live. I was one of the very, very first to, to talk to meet Kevin live on the show. I got in and was getting a reaction. There is my comments. I had 97 likes. It's one of the highest on his channel. There are more, but this is one of the top ones, Why? and this is why it's a, a top uh, comment on his channel. 97 comments. Sorry, 97 likes. 46 replies. The people that liked it are with me. I've had comments on my channel today saying, Martin, we support you. Uh, what Meet Kevin is doing is all for himself. It's awful. It's all up lies. Um, and so on and so forth. However, the ones that are with Meet Kevin, who think he's the greatest thing in the world, all go at me calling me a liar and an idiot and everything's the way Meet Kevin says it is. But I'm going to show you something in a minute that will really, really shock you, right? Really, really shock you. Here is the reality. We're not down 60%. We're not going to be down 60%. And when I commented, I got 97 likes, but all the comments, nearly all the comments are negative attacks towards me. I've had hate mail throughout the evening. I've had all kinds of things. Do not go against, do not go against the beat the people with the power because the people that follow it believe it wholeheartedly that you can never debunk what they say. You can never uh, prove to them what they're saying, what they believe, what they're listening to is rubbish. People who listen to people that lie and say stuff, if they're big, if they shout loud enough, ignorant people will follow it all the way. Now look at this. I'm going to add this in to, to it. This is a poll I ran last night saying I'm going to war on Graham Stepan, meet Kevin, uh, and so on and so forth. People that lie, including Elon Musk, getting in, using, manipulating. Look at this. I've had 34 votes. 100% themselves. 
The question was, do you feel large YouTubers like me, Kevin, Graham Steppen are for themselves or for the audience? 100% themselves. I have never had a 100% vote. There's always somebody who feels they want to ruin it and go just for a laugh. No one thinks this is funny. 100% of 34 people so far have said 100% for themselves. Isn't this terrible? Yet this morning, it continues with more nonsense. Let's bring in the family and make us look like we're a family. And yet we're just trying to manipulate the market. I'm sickened by this. I really, really am. Um, but it gets worse. Because yesterday, I also debunked and tried to... Uh, talk about what Elon Musk did. Elon Musk went out and used the fact three children, three little girls were stabbed and killed, not by, uh, not because of immigration or Muslim extremism or anything like that at all, just a regular uh, British citizen and all the rest of it. He decided to pile in and use it to say that uh, the British government is protecting Muslims over everybody else. They're putting them first, a two-tier policing system. Uh, uh, the UK is on the edge of a civil war. It's inevitable. Piled in, piled in. Following the death of three young little girls. He used that. What do you think... The reaction was when I expressed disgust in Elon Musk. You would have thought it would be supportive, wouldn't you? Using ultimate power like meet Kevin and Graham Stepan. Large, loud voices manipulating the market, manipulating people's opinions. You'd think people would agree. I have never had a video do this. Ever. Ever. Look at this. This is my uh, Elon Musk video. Remember the um, uh, the people that follow Elon, Elon Musk? And I've always said it's like uh, the fanboys. It doesn't matter what he says. He'll, he can do anything he wants. He can say anything and he knows it. And it's a complete and utter controlled cult now. Look at this. Look at this. This is is the video I put out last night. Now, I know these are only small numbers. I'm only, I'm only a small YouTube channel. I don't have massive fluctuation because 28,000, not 2 million like me, Kevin. But look at this. Straight down. Subscribers. I never, ever lose subscribers like that. This was the Elon Musk video I put out last night. Normally, when I put a video out... Uh, I go 10 forward, I go down one. The FFIE one was the most unpopular because I called out another cult. But I didn't I didn't lose subscribers I just, because they want to engage with me, right? I just got lots of dislikes. With this, I got people unsubscribe. Now, you might go, it's only six. I normally gain 20, 30 subscribers a video, sometimes hundreds. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I gained uh, nearly seven, ne ne no, nearly a thousand uh, likes. Sorry, a thousand subscribers uh, when I talked about um, NVIDIA. I normally gain 10 to 1, 20 to 1. I go up 10, I lose 1. This is negative 6. It would have been negative 8 if it wasn't for the two people subscribing just there. See that? Now, what this tells you and what this shows you is people with loud voices and influence have such a control over people. We know how much of a dedicated following Donald Trump has. We know that he can say anything to his hardcore fans and they'll believe it. Even if we can prove what he just said wasn't true, doesn't matter. We follow him to the end of the earth. Elon Musk is the same. Meet Kevin is the same. So I declared war on it. I said, okay, let's go to war because I started this YouTube channel to do something good. I can't do it. I can't do it. 
It's making me very, very upset. I'm on the, I'm on the edge of uh, tears, if I'm honest with you. This is not why I set this YouTube channel up. I set it up to help people. I set it up to raise money for charity on my music channel. Oh my gosh, how much grief have I taken for that? How many people are trying to bring that down? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired that honesty, decency, commitment, loyalty to an audience doesn't shine above. It works. Here we are every day, growing larger every day. It works. And I appreciate every single one of you. And I love each and one of you. And I'm not saying that this, does, this, this journey doesn't work. But if I decided to spread false information, roll on my children, play in games, make it look like, look like I'm a family man while I'm completely and utterly manipulating people, while, I, while I'm spreading hate like Elon Musk, when three young, three young girls were murdered on the streets of England. If I lied and I made drama and sensation, I could grow and I could, I could become an evil villain. I could do what I like and I'd be rich. I don't care about money. I couldn't care less. But I do care about people. And this makes me very, very upset. Uh, and really, it's very hard sometimes to even do this. Now, I wasn't upset until I took all this on. I was fine because I'm just dealing with my audience. And most of you will say, just do what you do. Ignore all that. Trouble is, I can't. I can't ignore it when it affects what's going on. And it sells, doesn't it? Sex sells, violent sells, crime sells, evil, nonsense, even hiding behind your children bringing them on the screen to make you look like you're the dad and the family man while you're literally manipulating. And if you study the words he uses, it's very clever. Very clever. Hitler was a very clever man. He could convince you what he was doing was wonderful and then go and murder millions of people. It's very, very easy to... Because meet Kevin's a very clever man. He will come out with all kinds of arguments why everything's going down the toilet and all the rest of it but it really isn't accurate. What The way he manipulates it, it gives a different tone. And Elon Musk is even better at it, piling in on, on X when three children were murdered and then using it to incite violence. All across England now, we've got this going on. And uh, Elon Musk has to take some responsibility for this because people are sharing his posts. They are calling for civil revolution all over England now. This started because, because of three children got murdered. Has nothing to do with what you're seeing here. Has nothing to do with Elon Musk. He should keep his bloody self out of it. Um, I, 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 I will never buy a Tesla. And because of that, because of that, because I say what I, what I say the truth, people pile in and they go, right, we're unsubscribing from you. Good. Don't subscribe to me then. Go and watch something else. Go and watch Meet Kevin make up lies. The silent majority. There's my comment. It's not going to happen. It just, it, it, it's just to get you to watch and sell your stocks. This makes money for Kevin. The market will not drop ne uh, by, by this so much. Never has, never will. I mean, he was calling for 60%. Have you ever heard such rubbish? I just debunked all of the claims on my own video. Graham Stepan playing the same game. 97 likes. A handful of people commented on that. The majority, you're a liar. Uh, what do you mean never has? That's just a straight up lie. Apparently, it has crashed that much before. Well, I've read the history and I don't see it's crashed that much before. But apparently, it has uh, people believe every word he says. It's brilliant, isn't it? But don't worry. He brings on his children and tells you it's all okay. It's tough doing this job. Uh, I don't like it sometimes. But for those of you who've watched to the end of the video, which will be my Aids, the rest would have switched off and said, this is rubbish, Martin's a liar and send me emails and messages and memes on Reddit. Do what you like. 
You can't fix stupid. People that follow liars and power and manipulative people will always be, will always do it. I can't stop it. I'm not going to go to war on it. I've got better things to do. It's not good for my health. I can't win. I can't win. So I choose to walk away. You can carry on in your pile of crap or, you know, millions of you wallowing in it. Do it. Fact of the matter is I'm an investor, not a trader. The markets are up again two days in a row. There's an overreaction. The US economy is strong. The businesses I own are strong. You can't change that with your lies and your nonsense. Click above my head if you want more links like this down below in the description. Uh, over here and over here, more comments and videos. Join me for the next one. What can I say? Take care of yourselves and each other.